I'm Charlie Salter, co-chair of Learning Disabled and Autistic Theatre Company, Access All Areas. The Arts Council investment principles is how they choose a project for them to fund. So, what are the investment principles anyway? Some of our artists come for a workshop led by artist director Nick Llewellyn and access officer Katie Wheeler through activities and metaphors, how we explain what the four principles are. Our metaphors were a train for ambition and quality, a body for inclusivity and relevance, a journey for dynamism and a flower for environmental responsibility. So this was just one way of how we made it accessible for some of our artists. I bet you're intrigued on how we did it. Well, keep watching the box. Ooh. Ambition and equality. Great. Cool, so the first one then, ambition and quality. We've got a train here. There is quite a clear way that all the projects in the company um, create a very, very long train. So this is our train, okay. So we've got, we've always got John. Out John taste the yeah. workshop. Yeah, it, and then yeah. we're going to... Spring back. Spring back. <laughs> Diploma. Diploma. Performance company. Performance company. <laughs> and Take it well. And, and, and everything. Yeah, everything. So getting in everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is our progression. This is our train spotter here. Okay. Taking notes. So this is about perceptions. How do we know that, that we're doing a good thing? Okay. So have a think. Make a still picture of what you think other people think of actual areas. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Um, engaging. Pioneering. Groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. Anyone else now want to be the engineer? So they work with the train spotter and they measure our performance. So people are telling us we're good, aren't they? But how do we know that? What is the way, what is the way we know that? The people that come back to see before my kid, after mm. before my kid. Exactly, so when people keep coming back, the engineer's noting mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. many people came to see the show, mm -hmm. who keeps, have you seen an actual area show before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're kind of making all those, all, yeah. that, all those statistics. Also, yeah. not just that people come back and see it, but some people, this has happened, some people have been so blown away by our project that they've wanted to get involved in that with the and want to be part of the team, yes. which, is, which is a bonus. And what works well, yes. a gay promotion, and what good. Um, it's celebrating um, our progress and, and getting like, daily feedback from from people who um, who we um, are coaching. Yeah, excellent. You've got the progression, make sure we've got clear progression and we've got clear mission and we know what we're doing. Then we've got, we're, we're checking in how other people see us and we do that by making sure that we've got really clear ways with the engineer of getting feedback and making changes. Inclusivity and relevance. So what's it mean to be inclusive? What's that word mean? No, inclusive means we accept everybody and we include everybody. Think about why, you know, how hard we have had to work to be included, you know, think about really why we're doing this, you know, politicise our, our kind of um, work. So we're going to think about um, the heart area, okay? And we're thinking about inclusion, okay? And the heart represents our community because the community is the heart of Axel areas. How do we include people? I feel like we got to be the bigger voice for the take part group because they haven't got your confidence or um, 
the way of speaking out. So I feel like us as the performance company in different parts, we got to have the bigger voice for the tech part too. That is very true and I think that's where it comes to about role models and also we're speaking on behalf of, co of communities that, that have very limited access to, to speaking out. Yeah. We're always representing our communities mm -hmm. um, in every area, whether it's public speaking, training, consultancy, mm -hmm being a co-facilitator, television work, it's, we're always thinking about the, the wider community yeah. and, and including them in all of the conversations. So, thinking about management, we're thinking about the workforce, we're thinking about who works for actual areas, which also includes the artists as well, because you know, you're all paid for certain jobs. How do we make sure we're inclusive when we're thinking about the management of the company? Sometimes when you've got some sort of information you get and it's like you don't understand it and it's too much to bear it in mm -hmm. it's good to be reminded and also be sure that it's easy read as you can understand a bit more to making sure that we've got easy read agendas mm -hmm. we've got pre-meetings to discuss, discuss what's going to happen beforehand and you've got support um, in the meeting as well so what we're going to do here again is write down how are we inclusive when it comes to being creative and using our diversity and the diverse groups that we work with to create all the different projects that we create. All shows interactive and relaxed, who wrote this? Okay, Terry, tell us all about that. Well, we make the audience react to what we are doing and we ask some questions if that's part of the show and also we make it react so it looks like a Shakespeare play when the audience has got to be like we want shouting, we want emotion. Passion. Yeah. Responsibility. <laughs> well Environmental responsibility. Yes. Okay, so here we have our plant. So any thoughts? What do we need to kind of give it what, strong roots? What we use for sets and that we recycle. Taking your responsibility seriously when it comes to your rubbers that kind of sense of encouragement like relating to that um, if you can write down what things we could do as actual areas thinking about the projects and the way of working the office the workshops the shows what could we do to make sure that we are uh, doing better for the environment really? so should we have a little chat about these so what could we do better Charlie would you like to say your first one <laughs> so could we plan a get together to talk yeah. about this um, you know just get together and just talk because you know for some of us it's very hard to talk and to know what's going on so I think it, you know yeah and yeah. it's true because this is a thing that's become big especially in the last five years but mm -hmm. there's quite a lot of confusion still around about it isn't it so yeah. even yeah. just talking through what the issues are and helping to understand that more mm -hmm. if we want to do all of these brilliant things and of course we should be doing all of them are there things that actually kind of go against um, these ideals because of people's access needs and interventions that we have to do to make sure that we're all able to get here and be well and to understand what's going on. I know it be yes pollution if I did it. Mm. You catch his um and more money for you guys. <laughs> but but um yeah it just my access needs that contradict yeah. my views on pollution. Yeah. How do we know that we're doing this well? How can we measure our success? Where you put a red line where you are up to and go up, 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 like a full yeah. meter. Great, and we maybe do it as a plant thermometer. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> that'd be a really good idea because it because it will show us here to see what what we can like develop or improve. We could do more like individual p people. We're going on a journey. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of journeys, Gen we're all going to go on a journey. Let's all see if we can get behind our traveller here. Because this, this is us. Yeah. So Kian is representing us. So take a step forward for me, yeah, Kian. Yeah, I'm you. Yeah, take one step So forward. on the floor in front of us here, we have a few things that we need to pack. So what do we need for this journey? Well, first of all, a map is something we need. Travel. We need to really think through where we're going. Yes. We need a plan. This is our plan, our business plan. Okay. Yeah. So we want to put this in the backpack. Oh God. <laughs> Very important. Pop that in the backpack. <laughs> Lovely. A compass. Yeah, a compass. We need. Compass. We need to know where we're going. Where we're going. It means. Um, <clears throat> Where do we want to take the company mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. we are trying to say mm -hmm. and what we want to mm -hmm. bring to the mm -hmm. other audience mm -hmm. for accessibility? In the backpack. So why have I got a first aid kit here? Because there were loads of obstacles in the in the, in the way that might hurt us and might health and but, safety, mm -hmm. health and safety. Yeah. So when we come into those bumps and those obstacles, we can find a way over them, okay? But keeping ourselves safe. Okay, go for it, Claire. Hopefully it fits through the gap. <laughs> we also have our torch here. So what could that represent? We shine the light through the darkness. We give people hope. Nice. We give, yeah. People always say, find the light. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And again, we've got our water bottle here. Yeah. It's reusable. Water kind of reflects that flexibility and stuff. Yeah. This is going to represent some of these obstacles. Okay. Sometimes we get stuck. Okay, behind that obstacle, we might get stuck in the mud. Okay, so what ways do you reckon we can get stuck? Money, not having enough yeah. money, mm -hmm. not having, not being able to get the funding. Struggling, um, to, struggling to make money, yeah. yeah. Uh, confidence might be locked over because of things that are going on. Yeah. Our mental health can be a barrier if, if things are really bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Bit of trust us, <laughs> yeah a bit of trust, yeah. yeah. People not trusting us. Time and deadlines. So how are we going to get around this table and get on our way? I think it's a thing of like planning something and making that plan to make things happen so that we mm. find a way out or over it to kind of cross that barrier. And thinking about those barriers before they happen, mm. yeah. you get to go past the table. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how, how do we get back, uh, past that barrier of people not being involved, people not knowing who we are? Uh, we just need to... Um, we just need to um, advertise us more. Do what do we do more of what we're doing um, yeah. on the um, on online, and you know, so more people find out about us. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's yeah. the solution. You can go past the table. Thank you. Even <laughs> throughout the pandemic, and not we um, still kept kept on. We did it all on Zoom, so all the all the. Um, you know, the time to, you know, the process of developing and stuff is mm. all on Zoom. We do some voice notes on WhatsApp. Yeah, mm. WhatsApp, yeah. Mm -hmm. So those, that's the good, uh, adapting and that being fluid thing, flexibility, yeah. is definitely a way to get through those barriers. Mm. So you two can go on the other side of the table. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. fun. <laughs> I'm going to take away from this um, that, um, that, um, you know, in the board meetings to make sure when we have meetings to make sure that every single sector that we that we talk about is actually in the meetings so making sure that you know ambition and quality inclusive and better dynamism and you know just to make sure yeah that i'm you know going to put in forward and that in, in a word um overall i think the word is change um and that's a positive thing as well, and how things can change for the balance. Um, yeah. So, you've met our artists and how accessible we work to understand what the investment principles are. By activities and fun, we understood and participate and shared our own experiences. We hope that you watching could help you explore the investment principles. 
They have fun and that took away. Goodbye.